today I had a very large base to tackle. It's an order for a customer that um, I'm going to be doing two of these very, very large bases. I'm going to do them in two pieces, so I um, prepared the clay ahead of time. Um, you're looking at about 10 pounds of clay that I uh, centered before this video started. And you see me now, I'm opening the clay uh, with both thumbs because there's so much clay. I don't normally throw with this much clay, so I'm a little rusty, but um, I think it'll give you a good idea of um, how to tackle such a big mound of clay. Um, my m muscles are a little sore today after this, but um, you know, it's not unlike throwing a small mug. You just have to adjust and um, put some more grump, grind into it. <laughs> Um, and you can see um, the different motions that I'm doing with my thumbs to get down in that much clay and to keep it centered at the same time. It's not easy, um, but if you take your time, you're patient with yourself and your muscles, it's a lot of fun to see it all come together. I use a sponge quite a bit, you can see. Um, I, I throw really dry uh, as well, um, you can see that. Um, I'm confident this clay, actually I forgot to tell you, is porcelain. Um, and I don't use a whole lot of water anyway, but it's really good with porcelain um, mixes to not use too much water. You see me starting at the bottom. I kind of wait until the clay starts to move. You can see that line where I'm pulling it up. I'm now doing the pulls. Typically, you only want to do about three or four pulls. With this much clay, you're going to be doing possibly a few more. <laughs> you can see I'm bringing it up like a donut. A lot of people use their knuckles, too, with this um, much clay to to pull it up like a donut. All I'm doing at this point is trying to get a good cylinder going. You can see a little bit of wobble in this and that's just because of um, the weight. 